Hello all and welcome back. Today we are going to create this beautiful infographic using PowerPoint. Let's get started. Let's first enable the guides and format the background with 3 step linear gradient. Change the gradient direction and stop colors with different shades of white and gray colors. Next go to insert tab and draw circle shape holding down control and shift keys. Make it no outline and adjust its size. Now go to insert tab and draw triangle shape above this circle. Match triangle width with circle shape and next we need to align both shapes properly. Let's make it no outline and change its fill color to dark gray. Now keep pushing this triangle shape upwards and also adjust its width until it matches with circle outline. That looks perfect. Now union these both shapes. Next go to insert tab and draw circle holding down shift key. Align it centrally to vertical guide and subtract it with main design shape. Now let's format this shape with linear gradient. Set its direction opposite to background and make it a two-step gradient. Change both stop colors using eyedropper tool. Also format its outline with same two-step linear gradient and slightly increase its width. Next apply auto shadow effect to this shape and adjust its distance and blur values. Now go to insert tab and draw partial circle shape holding down control and shift keys. Make it slightly bigger than main design shape and adjust its shape using orange color edit points. Make it no outline and again format it with same two step linear gradient. Match both shapes gradient direction by adjusting its angle and then apply auto shadow effect. Next go to insert tab and draw circle shape holding down control and shift keys. Make it no outline and fill it with white color. Apply auto shadow effect to this shape and adjust its distance and blur values. Next go to insert tab and draw another circle shape through center. Make sure it is slightly bigger than previous circle shape. Make it no fill and change its outline color to white. Also reduce its outline width to 0.5 units. Now duplicate this outline circle using Ctrl plus D, fill it with white color and make it no outline. Next go to insert tab and draw rectangle to cover half section of circle shape. 
Select both shapes and intersect them. Apply two-step linear gradient to this half circle and change both stop colors to white. Increase right side stop transparency to 100% and adjust its gradient angle. Finally place it over outline circle to get glossy effect. Next we will create hanging ropes using rounded rectangle shapes. Go to insert tab and draw rounded rectangle shape. Adjust its roundness and reduce its size. Place it over the main design and make it no outline. Format it with two-step linear gradient and change its direction. Adjust gradient stop positions and change the stop color to darker shade of gray color. Next duplicate this shape two more times using Ctrl plus D and place them one below the other. Now go to insert tab and draw another rounded rectangle shape. Adjust its roundness and make it no outline. Format it with same linear gradient and align it over main design as shown. Duplicate this shape using Ctrl plus D and align it to pass through the circular cut section. Again duplicate this shape using Ctrl plus D and align it at the back end of main design. Bring top 3 rectangle shapes to front and union bottom 2 shapes as shown. Finally draw another rectangle shape as shown and make it no outline. Format it with two-step linear gradient, change the direction and adjust stop colors. Select all rectangle shapes and apply outer shadow effect. Now group all these shapes and drag them holding down control key to create 4 more duplicates as shown. Select all group of shapes and distribute them horizontally. Ungroup all shapes and adjust the rectangle height of two designs which are at lower positions. Select all top rectangle shapes and send them to back. Now let's quickly change the gradient colors of other designs using eyedropper tool and color palettes.
Finally add all PNG icons and text fields onto our design. Apply Auto Shadow Effect to text fields and adjust its transparency and blur values. Format the title text using Transform Follow Path option and match its shape with our main design. Apply Auto Shadow Effect and adjust its transparency value. So here is the final preview. Hope you all liked it. Please don't forget to like, share and comment. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.